Alright guys, welcome to your 58th Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the two types of classes. And in case you didn't already know, we already talked about the two types of classes. I just didn't tell you the uh, technical definitions of them. Now you guys already know what an abstract class is from the last tutorial. Might as well put that back there. So an abstract class it is a class that you can't create objects from so it's only useful for polymorphism and inheritance and stuff like that in these other classes that aren't abstract even though they don't have a name people call these classes concrete and the concrete class is a class that's specific enough where you can make an object, or excuse me you can make an object from it so even though it doesn't say concrete that's what people call it just cause they have to call it um, they just don't want to be like not abstract so again food you wouldn't want to create something because it's too broad a topic but tuna and pot pie those are pretty specific aka concrete so you can create objects from concrete classes but not abstract so again let me demonstrate this by saying alright whenever you try to create a food object it's too broad and abstract so it gets an error but if we go ahead and create we can again we can have this food reference but if we create it from the class like new tuna since this isn't abstract we don't get um well if I got rid of that then we wouldn't get an error right here because tuna has no restrictions we can create objects from this now let's get rid of this and move on to our next topic and so you know what an abstract class is and it pretty much is useless unless you extend it or it's inherited from something. And as you can see, tuna inherits food and pot pie inherits food. If nothing inherited food, it will be useless because you can't create objects from it. So that's what an abstract class is. But just to make things more confusing, I want to tell you that methods can be abstract too. And what exactly is an abstract method? Well, an abstract method is a method that must be overwritten so for example we created this method in food and since tuna and pot pie inherited food we created a method eat in tuna and a method eat in pot pie and both of these overwrote food I mean this wasn't necessary that we created these methods but we did it anyways just for fun so again an abstract method is a method that must be overridden in the sense it must be overwritten which means you need to create a body for it then this body in the main food class right here this is unnecessary whenever you're creating an abstract method so let's go ahead and create an abstract method right here let's go ahead and get rid of everything in our food class how would we create an abstract method pretty much the only thing you need to do is add the head and the semicolon so do public we will make it public abstract since it's an abstract method void eat since it doesn't return anything and it's named eat and now you can see this is a method but it doesn't have a body and if you're saying alright I never created a method without a body well since tuna needs to overwrite it pretty much it needs to create a body for it and pot pie needs to create a body for it as well then that is why um, in your declaration right here you don't need a body right here so again um, an abstract method in your superclass it doesn't need a body so another thing I want to point out anytime you have an abstract method in a superclass that entire class needs to be labeled abstract too right there so you can't have like um, an abstract method and you can't have this class be not abstract or else you're gonna get an error like that so every someone's knocking on my door I think hold on oh I'll let them keep knocking I'll get it after this tutorial and another thing I want to point out is when we declared this public remember I said I can't change the scope when we override it so we need to make these public as well so we'll make that public and if you see that little error right here um, multiple markers can't reduce the visibility that is why anytime you see an error with the word visibility 
you probably need to change public to private or private to public or add one or the other. So again, like I was saying, anytime you have an abstract method, you need to make the class abstract too. But here's the thing. You can have an abstract class, but have abstract or non-abstract methods inside it. So again, in this is a, we're getting error because of something else here. Um, because anytime you have a non-abstract method, you need a body. But anyways, I just wanted to point that out. Um, anytime you have an abstract method, you, it needs to be inside an abstract class. But anytime you have a non-abstract method, it can be inside an abstract class. Well, you just heard it. I don't need to repeat myself. So the last thing I need to point out is let's go ahead and make this method abstract again. Just like this. Anytime you have an abstract method, you need to implement it in one or excuse me in any of the subclasses that extends to the superclass. Now I know that sounds confusing, but listen to this. Alright. This tuna class and this pot pie class both inherit from this main food class. And this food class has an abstract method of eat in it. That means this tuna class and this pot pie subclass, they both need to use the eat method. Or or in other words, they both need to implement or override this eat method. If you don't have this eat method, then you're going to get an error in your class, just like this. The type pot pie must implement the inherited abstract method food.eat. So again, anytime you have an abstract method in a superclass, then the subclasses need to override that method. And that's like making a promise. This food says, all right, you want to inherit from me? Okay, I'll let you. But I'm telling you, I have this abstract method, and if you inherit from me, you're going to need to override it. And Popeye's like, all right, I promise I'll override it. Since you have an abstract method, I promise if you let me inherit from you, I will override it for you. So, if like the classes could talk to each other, that's kind of the conversation they would be having. And if you're saying, all right, if I need to override this method anyways, what's the point of even having it in here? Well, it's pretty much for consistency and some polymorphism. And I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but in the next tutorial, I'm going to be building a program to demonstrate everything I went over in the last two tutorials. These last two tutorials were pretty much the rules and concepts that you have to follow and I couldn't just skip over it because it's incredibly important um, for what we're going to be learning in the next, next couple of tutorials and this is pretty much the core of polymorphism these rules so in like five tutorials ago when I called a class or excuse me it was an interface and I implemented it that's what implemented means implement means pretty much you need to override the abstract methods so that's enough for this tutorial. I probably should go uh, see who's knocking on my door. But thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, I got like phlegm building up in my throat. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next tutorial.